morning. Old turkey master here. Let me turn this hour off. Uh, I'm uh, got a project here I'm working on this morning. Uh, this is a stock for a 43 Winchester. I got the barrel chucked up in the lathe I've been sanding on. And the reason I'm making this video, I bought this 43. This is a, it looks to me like a replacement stock. It may be a Boyd. Real nice stock, brand hammer new. So I'm thinking somebody found this uh, 43 action and put it in this new stock to sell. Well, uh, the, ba the number one thing wrong with rifle, somebody, let me get the barrel out of here for you. Somebody cut the barrel off to 19 inches. Uh, I don't know, may have had something wrong with it, but that's pretty short. It's chambered in 22 Hornet. Made in 1951 and uh, had some rust on it, pits on it, so I'm trying to sand it. Uh, I'll probably deer coat this gun here. And well, my reason for buying it, that would go in there like that, yeah, that shows you, gives you an idea about how the thing looks, that short barrel. Uh, my intentions for this gun were. Uh, order a Douglas barrel and change it over to 17 Hornet. Uh, that 17 Hornet is a real good shooting caliber. I like a 22 Hornet. I always keep a 22 Hornet. But the 17, it runs a little faster, about 3,800 feet a second, and uh, deadly accurate. Well, I made a mistake of taking this gun up to the shooting range and I wanted to see how it shot with a 19 inch barrel. I can't shoot very well. To my surprise, it shoots extremely well. This, this rifle will shoot a half inch group at 100 yards. That's good shooting in anybody's book. And all it had on it was a was a Bushnell Sports View four power scope, and uh, that's not a real target scope by no means. Uh, so but shooting that tighter group with that scope, uh, I decided well maybe this barrel ain't so bad. So while I had it out, I recrowned it. Uh, it was rusted and look real bad on the end so I cut a new crown on it. Just took a few thousands off of it. Uh, and another thing when I got to looking to see what the barrel threads on the 43 Winchester was I couldn't find it on the internet anywhere. So, uh, so I, I could uh, know what to thread my Douglas barrel that I was going to get. And, so, I measured this and it measures 20 threads per inch and the old day on it's real close to 13 sixteenths. Uh, let's see. It actually measures 804. OD, about 804, 805, 13 sixteenths, it's 81.25, and when you cut these threads you'll lose a little bit, so I'm thinking it's 13 sixteenths. Uh, the length of the shank measured about 6.30. The stub on it. And uh, looking at it and measuring it, I don't believe that the face of this uh, 
barrel is really square. It seems to be off a little. I'm not sure that matters because uh, when the bolt butts up against this, the rim of the cartridge is actually outside the barrel. It's in the recess in the bolt head. So I'm not going to mess with it because I'd have to, if I took any off of it, I'd have to cut the chamber a little deeper to get the head space right. But, uh, so my plans now, I'm going to sand this thing down, uh, refinish the barrel, the receiver, trigger guard. I ordered some new screws because the, the screws were all burred up. Uh, it's just got three screws that hold the barrel in. Well, one holds the front of the trigger guard and the other two hold the barrel action. And then I'll put her back together and take her back up there and shoot it. And I'll let you, I'll bring a target back and show you what it does. And uh, so uh, my rebarreling project turned out to be a, just a refinish project. And I checked the breech end of the barrel. If you want to know how good your barrel is. You can look down the muzzle and you're not going to see a whole lot. You can see if it's got pits or something in there. But if you want to really know, you pull, you look in the breech end. And uh, right where the rifle starts, where the lands are, that's where the barrel will erode from shooting. And that flame uh, coming out of that cartridge burning them uh, rifles right there at the lands. This one, believe it or not, looks looks brand hammer new to me. Uh, maybe that's why it shoots well. It's uh, I don't think this thing's been shot hardly at all. So uh, I'll get it back together and I'll show you what the French product looks like. And I'll show you a target. If you've got a chance to pick you up on these 43 Winchesters, uh, the main two calibers were 22 Hornet and 218B. Uh, the 18B's got a little larger case. It shoots the same bullet that the Hornet shoots. Uh, but the Hornet ammo's a whole lot cheaper. Them 218B's, they were running like $60, $70 a box. So if a man had one, he'd surely have to hand load. But the Hornets, uh, if you get that uh, Russian Privetin ammunition, it's not that expensive. And it shoots good. It's brass cases you can reload it. And one of the powders that everybody's raving about for the Hornet is uh, Little Gun. And I've not, I've got a can of it, but I've not tried reloading any of it yet. But they really say that little gun in the Hornet's real accurate. So, uh, that is all I got today. And, uh, remember the threads on this were 13 sixteenths by 20. And, uh, I think I said that stud was round. I think it's around 625, 630. Yeah. I'd say nominal 625. That is all. Turkey Master out.